All right, welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. The pleasure to have you here again. Last we left off, we made it to Serana's home castle, which I can't pronounce the name of, and we discovered that putting some, I guess, crest on these little pedestals here would open up a secret passageway deeper into the place. And we're going to go and explore that, but before we do that, I do want to mention that my Skyrim game is a little bit off at the moment. I install installed a couple of Christmas mods during the holidays when I did a particular stream, which those of you that showed up, thank you. I really appreciate it. And those mods are still kind of active, de despite the fact that I've tried to go and uninstall them. So... We're gonna have a bit of a bit of an issue. You might see some Christmas decorations every now and then. Hopefully not down in here in the depths, but if we do, that's the reason why. Hopefully I'll have them gone by next episode. Um, I'm not gonna make any promises though, because <laughs> it, sometimes it's hard to uninstall mods. I'll look around into it, see what I can do, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to kill evil creatures and help our vampire GF feel better about herself now there we go so nope that's quick loading oh thank god well see that's a good sign when it tells you that you tried to load a save but it's been completely corrupted and you know I'm not I, I'm not gonna look at that as a negative thing I'm gonna look at that as a positive thing don't know how exactly but that's you know I'm gonna do my best quick save is f5 You'll be okay, Serana. Don't worry. Worst thing that can happen is some Christmas decorations pop up. I think that's the real thing we got to be worrying about right now. Oh, maybe these guys too, I guess. Dinner party that never ended. Feels so weird to play the game normally now. After I played... Like a, a, a meme version of it for Christmas. Ooh, I'm getting my ass kicked a little bit. Hang on now. That's not the button I wanted. There we are. You got it, Serana. There we go. And we're all good. Oh, nope. We still got one more. Serana's on it. I guess I should probably help rather than just sitting there and watching. Pull out my phone and record. Like a fight going on in Walmart. But it's good to be back in Skyrim. Despite the, the long break I took. You'll have to forgive me. The holidays are still kind of coming to an end for me. I've been trying to settle down. Got a little bit sick, I think. I don't know if you can tell in my voice. I've said a little bit more uh, stuffy than usual, I like to think. But I, I'm recovering okay. I'm doing fine. I keep, I want to keep pumping out content for you guys. So this is gonna hurt. I think this guy. Well, if he doesn't hit me, then it won't. Oh! Oh my God! I'm a badass. Holy shit! Look at how cool I was. Well, hell yeah. I forgot what I was saying. That was that just completely took me by surprise. I don't think I've ever seen the kill animation for the gargoyle before. Or at least if I have, I haven't seen it in a very long time. I think the last time I went to the Dawn Guard campaign was when it first came out. <laughs> That's not true. I, I did it a little bit after it too, but I just don't remember too much about it. Wasn't a forgettable DLC, but it definitely was. Uh, it's been a while. I'll just leave it at that. Oh, awesome lockpicks! Great. I only have a hundred of those. I need more. I was gonna take some leather straps because we need them for blacksmithing and making our home look a little bit nicer. Not that it already doesn't look nice, just you know. Completely missed. Completely whipped. 
There we are. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Serana, help. I pressed every button but the button I wanted there. I also think he barely missed me. Like, he shot an arrow and he barely missed me. Pretty sure I would have died if he hit. Dodging death, left and right. So why why is this? Does anyone know why the the castle has such an expansive underground like this? Like this seems like another whole dining room and everything like that. Like I feel like you'd want to make sure that you keep this in check. Like there's just so much room to roam around. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's because they're rich. Maybe they're like, ah, eh, who cares. We'll let that room fall into ruin. Probably not easy to upkeep all this, if I had to imagine. They're vampires. They have all the time in the world to go around and fix it. Oh my god, it scared the shit out of me. thought that was a skeleton sneaking up to come and assassinate us. Thank God I have 99 plus lockpicks left. Nope. Oh, here we go. Wow. I don't think I have to move it at all in order to open this one. No, okay, we do. Just a little bit to the left. There we are. Oh my God, if this chest would have been locked too. Thank God it wasn't. Serana? Serana, I need you to move. There we go. Sometimes you have to charge like a football tackle into your NPCs in order to get them to move. She's giving me flashbacks to Lydia. And my PTSD is activating. There we are. Plenty of skeletons down here. Makes you wonder. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. I thought you said that like a few minutes ago too, didn't you? Are there any interesting books down here? Songs of Return, Volume Two. Two copies of Volume Two. Interesting. Adrian Daedra, leather. Just some straight up leather. Sure I know, Serana. I'm going. She's trying to tell me to hurry the fuck up and to quit picking up random shit on the ground. So I'm an adventurer. It's part of my job. I think that's all my classes. I oh wait, that's right. I don't have a class. This is Skyrim. Mistaking it for uh, Daggerfall and Morrowind and all that. I am just hero. My class is my name. Oh god, I hope this isn't a gargoyle that's going to come to life. Oh no! Oh, ooh, gargoyle fight. Why are you coming after me? Oh, that sucks. Kind of a weak fight, wasn't it? They're kind of just like... Wetly slapping each other. Oh. Who's there? Done and done. Nothing inter oh, what is this? Oh. We're getting close. I'm Almost sure. killed you, Serana. That would have been a terrible way to go, to be honest. Did we already explore this part? I feel like we did, yeah. Dude, there's so many, like, interesting things here. Like, this looks like it should be, like, a throne room of some kind. Actually, isn't this just the... No, it's not. I was about to say, isn't this just the, the like, the main dining hall area of the, the castle when we first enter, but just slightly tweaked? But I guess it isn't. 
Alright, further up we go. We're getting close. She can feel it. I wonder if they're going to have different dialogue for characters in the next Elder Scrolls. Oh, that's a level up. That's what we needed. God, it's been so long, I don't even remember what I was going to originally pick. Like, for my level up. I think what I'll do is I'll put it in Stamina again. We've got Restoration going on. Enchanting Heavy Armor. Which, you know, we can't do Juggernaut for. We can do Tower Strength. 50% less Stagger when wearing only Heavy Armor. Okay. I mean, I do like not getting staggered. That is true. We also got our two-handed over here. Sideways power attacks with two-handed hits all targets in front of you. I feel like I don't do many sideways power attacks. I think we'll just do this. We'll just do some more damage. When in doubt, just pick the one that does more damage. World of Warcraft has taught me that. Who cares as long as the numbers are big. Actually, let's see how much damage my weapon does now. 72. I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm going to assume it's pretty good. This is an ebony warhammer after all. Oh, speaking of weapons, what is this? Iron battle axe of fatigue. We don't really need to pick up that. Oh, freezing. Just some basic enchantments on these. There's nothing even good. I'm kind of hoping they would, I don't know, give us some actual good potions. Well, not potions, but weapons. That's fine. Can't, what, wow, this skeleton looks taller than usual. Was, was that just me, or did that guy look like he was massive? Ow. The hell am I hearing? Oh, that's the gargoyle. I thought there was like a, a skeleton bear somewhere. And I have no idea what's going on. I... I I'm on my own little adventure here. I should probably go back and try to help. Rather than doing whatever the hell I'm doing right now. This won't end well for you. Do I just jump down or... Where is she fighting at? Oh, she went around this way. Okay. Kicking your ass, Serana. You gotta get better at this. It'd be pretty pathetic if you were a vampire, Serana, and you ended up being imprisoned for so many years only to wake up and be killed by a skeleton. I'd be pretty disappointed myself, to be honest. You're supposed to be my indestructible companion. You're set to essential, alright? You can't die like... Lydia. You're my special somebody. My very special somebody. I have to install the mod that lets me marry you. I always found it was weird that they didn't let you marry Serana. I wonder why that is. Like, wh who in the writing room was like, you know what? No, they can't marry her. Maybe one of the writers had a crush on Serana and they didn't feel right about other people being able to marry her. Like, that's a thing that happens a lot in, some, in like, writing sometimes. Some writers are just a little bit too creepy. Quote unquote Sylvanas. Don't get me started on World of Warcraft. I've been playing a lot of it lately. Alright. I don't know if you can tell. You're definitely, yeah. You I like that the gargoyles do like a pig scream. Holy shit. That guy didn't even stand a chance. Oh, look at this. Hang on, wait a minute. I can't run. What does that do for me? The Vampire Royal Armor. Magical regenerates 125% faster, huh? That is very impressive, actually. Okay, so what can I drop instead? Do I have any weapons that I don't really need? 
I have the normal crossbow. We have the enhanced one, so I guess we could just drop that. Open dagger of fear. We don't. Whatever. We'll, we'll keep that one just in case we find an enchanting table. Oh shit! All right, I'm gonna go up here. Leave me alone. Oh, what if that guy came alive? Wouldn't that be fucked up? Just grabbed me like a Scooby-Doo painting. All right, I remember this though. Leave it to my mother. Always smarter than I gave her credit for. That I remember because when I was younger, I couldn't figure out where to go for the life of me, and I ended up wandering around this place like a, like a prison. All right, and here we are. There an enchanting table around here? A lot of alchemy tables. There we are. Look at this place. This has to be it. I knew she was deep in the alchemies. I mean, she taught me everything I know. Scaled braziers of imminent alchemy. Huh. She must have spent years collecting these. Things. I kind of want to keep this stuff because I feel like if I disenchant them right now no we'll be fine what i was worried about is that if i disenchanted them i wouldn't be able to make them powerful like more powerful than they already are but i think we'll be okay we really use this stuff anyways to be honest actually you know what since we're here let's enchant our dawn guard armor with let's see Shane that we have like a fortify a conjuration of magic regen destruction of magic regen but not a restoration one. Oh no there we go <laughs> spoke a little bit too soon there so let's see and then let's use a soul gem common lesser or pretty or petty I think common's probably the best right So we can do that on our Dongard Heavy Gauntlets. I'm gonna go ahead and enchant. There we go. Just to get some stuff going here. And then let's see. Restoration of Magic Regen. And we're gonna put this on our heavy armor. There we go. Just to kind of, you know. We're going to pick up all this too. I think we're still alive. Did you hear it? I'm going to brew some potions real quick with all this stuff. Purified Void Salt. I'll take that. It's for a quest item, isn't it? Like Don't we have to end up making like a, a portal or something like that? What is this? Oh, that's teeth. Supposedly. I don't know if I trust that, but that's what the game thinks it is. Oh my god, wait a minute. Why did I enchant all that when we had all this stuff here? Oh god, I'm an idiot. That's alright. Maybe we can re enchant it? Can you re enchant an item? Let's see. Like, let's do Fortify 2 Hand. Let's try to do our item. Nope, you can't. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, we can't even use them on, like, the big soul gems. I don't think we have a high enough skill in enchanting to even use those. Unless it's just not even filled with a soul, which is probably more the case. I need to get soul trap, like, soon. Let's make some paralysis potions, shall we? Uh, regenerate health. We definitely need. Restore magicka. Restore stamina.
Uh, we can do a couple of resist magic. Why not? Resist fire. Let's see. Fortify heavy armor is pretty cool. Can't do that, though. We're just going to make whatever we can just to kind of up our, our skill a bit. I feel like it's weird that it's telling me that I can fortify heavy armor. I guess it's just because I have... No. There's, there must be something I have that can fortify. Surely, right? Ooh, invisibility, Nern root. Okay. Interesting. Wait, this fortifies heavy armor? No, this is for invisibility. I don't want to do that. Wait a minute. What is going on here? Skyrim's being a little weird. Hang on, I gotta exit out of alchemy. It's not letting me select what I want to select. Let's try that again. There we go. So Nern Root and all that makes that fun stuff. Resist fire. Go ahead and do that. Resist magic. There we are. Resist shock. Weakness to Frost. Wouldn't know what that is, being ignored. Store Magicka, though. Fire Salts, there we go. Alright. There we go, we've stocked up on some potions. Potions that we're probably not going to ever use, but we've Let's done it now. Oh. Around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. Oh yeah, I'm sure there is. What exactly are we looking for? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Let's see, did your mother keep gargoyles here? Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not, not what you're thinking. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm sure. Fascinating. Yeah, sure, man. Uh, your mother maintained quite a laboratory. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. What does she research? Looking at the, the best way to fuck a magical videos, construct. Looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. To what end? I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. Does necromancy and longevity like go hand in hand, like a mortal life? I guess so, in a way. But becoming like a lich or something like that, right? So tell me about your family. Not a whole lot to tell. I don't know about that. Seen my father's obsession. My mother's not a whole lot better, but. You'll see that soon enough. Were you close with him? My father... No, not really. I did spend a lot of time with my mother, but she saw me more like a protege than a daughter. What about you? What were your parents like? Oh, shit. Um... Huh. This is a good... This is good for Agnar, actually. What what is Agnar's family like? I didn't even think about this till just now. I mean, he's a barbarian. I'm sure that his father would have taught him how to use a weapon, right? Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick the first one. They were good people, and I missed them. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up a bad memory. It's fine. Let's uh, let's just keep going. I did, well, I didn't mean to bring down the mood by that. I mean, it wasn't like a negative thing. Like notes. you can. She probably had a journal or something. Pick up a dragon bone. Oh, my inventory's <laughs> fucking horrendous to look at. The true nature of orcs. What is this? How long is this book? Oh, it's not too long. Orcs were born during the later years, or the latter years, of the Dawn Era. History has mislabeled them beast folk related to the goblin races, but the orcs are actually the children of Trinamac, strongest of the Aldmeri ancestor spirits. When Trinamac was eaten by the Daedra uh, Prince Boethia, oh god, 
uh, someone got excited in the comments, and transformed into that foul god's insides, the orcs were transformed as well. So wait, what? Trinidad got eaten by a Daedroth, a Daedroth prince, Bohethia, and transformed into the god's insides, and so orcs were transformed as well. The ancient name for orcs is Orsmer, which means the pariah folk. And now follow Malak, the remains of Trinimac. Who is Malak? He is more commonly known as the Daedroth Prince Malakath, whose sphere is, pa is the patronage of the spurned and ostracized. The sworn oath and the bloody curse. He is not technically a Daedra, Lord, nor do, do the other Daedra recognize him as such, but this is fitting for his sphere. Of old, he was Trinimac, the champion of the High Elven Pantheon, in some places more popular than Oriel, who had protected them against the enemies without and within. When Trinimac and his followers attempted to halt the Velothi descent dissident movement, Boethia ate him. Trinimac's body and spirit were corrupted, and he emerged as Malakath. His followers were likewise changed for the worse. Despised by everyone, typically the in inviolate, uh, that's not how you say that, Oriel, they quickly fled to the northern waste near Sarthal. They fought Nords in the Chimer for a place in the world, but did not get much in Skyrim. Or, or but did not get much. In Skyrim, Malakath is called Orke, or Old Knocker, and his battles with Ysmir are legendary. Huh. I didn't know about the whole Vor thing. That's kind of, um... You know what? No, that makes sense, though, because Elder Scrolls is... The lore for Elder Scrolls is a little bit uh, all over the place. We found her journal, though. Hopefully they don't detail any of the magical constructs that she's been uh, messing with. 27th of Last Seed. Harkon's short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I've warned him time and time again that this foolish prophecy would cast far too much light on our people, and yet he refuses to so much as listen to the word I say. I've become less a wife and more an annoyance in his eyes. Devoting attention to my work is the only solace I can find while enduring his ridiculous crusade. 28th of Last Seed. I've had a breakthrough today. I was able to attune the portal vessel to the soul cairn, probably by using a small sample of ingredients. Although the portal opened only for a few seconds, I'm confident that with the proper formula, it can be sustained indefinitely. I feel like I'm missing a key ingredient, something of sufficient potency that can resist the forces trying to prevent my intrusion. Communing with the ideal masters has proved worthless. They speak in riddles, offer no assistance whether I ensure them with a steady supply of souls or not. If I'm to escape Harkon's clutches, I need to keep the portal open long enough to carry me away from here. Forever, if need be. Okay, so I got a question. Sorry I keep, if you can keep hearing me clear my nose. I, like I said, I'm still a little bit sick. Who are the ideal masters? Are those, is that like the Daedra still? Is that just like a word that Vanessa is using to describe the Daedra? Or is that... Oh, not Daedra. The, the Daedric Princes, I mean. Or is that, like, a completely different thing? I have no idea. Third of Hearthfire. I've done it. After wasting thousands of gold coins on components, I've discovered how to sustain the portal. I'm listening to components below about the proper amounts for my own protection. As a secondary precaution, I'm combining my own blood into the formula, which should prevent anyone from being able to duplicate it and follow me into the Soul Cairn. The formula consists of finely ground bone meal, purified boy salt, soul gem uh, shards. Using the proper measurements, place the above in the silver lined portal vessel and add blood as a reactive agent. I will make my way into the soul cairn tomorrow after I gather my things to prepare for a potentially lengthy exile. More importantly, I must enact my plans with Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. Huh. I'm going to take this journal, by the way. Oh, thank God we did that, because that's actually what we needed to do. Any luck yet? I found your mother's notes. You did? Let Ooh. me see them. I like the animation. What is this soul care that she mentions? I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul care. Why does she care where used souls went? The soul care is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. If she made it there, we'll find her. 
That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. No, you don't think? If I'm reading this right. There's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cairn. What do we need? A handful of soul gem shards. Some Just in case we didn't read. Foam meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Oh, damn it. What's wrong? We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Well, you share her blood. Hmm. Not bad. We better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be gruesome. Yeah, I've had a good life. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Are all the ingredients here? Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. We just need to find them. All right, I think I've already done that. So I'm just going to go and uh get this portal popping. Pressing E on it. Maybe I don't have them. Maybe I gotta wait for her to get up there. That's probably the case. She has to get in the place first. I stole this hammer and got excited for some reason. I I imagined that it would. <laughs> I thought it was like a, a repair hammer from Morrowind. I don't know why. My brain's all over the place. Oh my god! I picked up a soul gem and it made me over encumbered. That's how bad I am right now. Okay, we're just going to drop some of these potions that we made. There's no reason for them. Just leave this here. There we go. A little gift for whoever comes by next. Alright, put your blood in there. Then the rest is up to me. Spit in it. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Hopefully you open a portal. Can I ask you something first? Of course. What is it? Kiss me. I mean, uh, what will you do when we find your mother? I've been asking myself the same thing since we came back to the castle. She was so sure of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. I never thought of the cost. Um. Oh God, I don't want to upset my GF. Sounds like she, she was pretty selfish. Always, but I think you're right. She was practically smirking as we left home, almost like she was proud of herself. Like she didn't just want to stop my father; she wanted to stick it to him too. Well, we won't know until we find her. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I just didn't expect anyone to care how I felt about her. Thank you. Are We're in, ready? boys. Let's get that portal open. All right. Here goes. Damn, that's a little... Oh my god, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> oh my god. That was a little... Holy shit, you took a chunk out of yourself. In we go, I guess. Just gonna go ahead and uh, save here, I guess. Ooh, ow, owie, owie. Are you all right? That looked painful. Yeah, it was. What happened? <laughs> now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry, it's hard to describe. The soul cairn is, well, hungry. For lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. So there's no way in then? There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Ew. You saying that I need to become a vampire? Not your first choice, I guess. There has to be another way. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. Wouldn't that kill me? My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. I mean, sure, why not, right? Those are my only options. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, 
I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. Well, I, th I didn't even consider you thinking less of me, to be honest, till now. Um, I, you're gonna soul trap me. I'm not gonna become a vampire. Up your mind? Soul trap me. Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it. Nah. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul cam. Better to be a vampire. I'm ready. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I never do. Not really, but. All right. Whoa. Um. I trust you completely. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time then. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Did you do it? Was that it? Is my did you, did you steal half my soul like that? Let's go. My mother must be Look at the look on his face. Look at the look on Agnar's face. He's like, "Damn. It's just that easy, huh?" This shit feel different. Where are you going? What are you doing over there? You messing with my soul? What are you doing? What did you just do? You just eat my soul? She like swallows the soul gem. Am I in? The question I have to ask myself quite a lot. Hey, okay, why why aren't we uh why aren't we going in, Serana? Serana. Let's go. My mother must be waiting on the other side of that. Um, okay, well, let's, let's do a quick load here. Let's, let's try this again. Okay, ow, yes, 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 I know. Are you alright? That looked painful. Yep. Now that I think yep. it, it's hard it's okay. to describe. The soul, there might, vampires yep. aren't counted them. Not your first choice, I guess. Has to be another way. We could just pay the toll. Wouldn't that kill me? My mother. It would make you a bit weaker. Uh huh. I'm sorry. Just know, I know that better than anybody. Okay, take my soul. Have you made up your mind? Soul trap me. Are you sure? You'll remain mortal. Yep. You'll find I'm ready. Weakened. I know this is. I never do anything that could hurt you. Trust you completely. A hundred percent. Let's go. Time, then. I promise to make this as painless as possible. You do a quick little animation. Oh. Oh, that one hurt a lot more than last time. Ooh. Owie. <laughs> what the fuck? What happened? Let's go. That was a lot different than last time. That shit hit different. Mother must be waiting on the other side of that thing. Okay, that time it worked. I don't I don't know what happened last time, but Owie. I was um Let's just do another quick save here. I hate that I have to do like a modded save now because of those stupid fucking mods I put on for like Halloween. I mean, not Halloween, Christmas. I miss the warm sunshine, green grass, blue skies. I miss being alive. Yeah, I'm sure you and everyone else here, buddy. So let's see. Beyond Death, Scroll Scouting, Seeking Disclosure. Okay. Does anyone know where my soul is? Has anyone seen a really handsome Nord wearing some really badass armor around here? So this is what it's like on the other side. Oh, he sounds pretty content with this. <laughs> so this is it, huh? <laughs> Want my advice? Never welch on a bargain with the ideal. Welch is a good word. I like that. Don't take it very well. Kind of a cool place, so I really like the design of this area. I I always have. I always thought it was like really cool looking. I like the idea of different planes of existence. Oh, excuse me, buddy. That's a little wisp from the Kaldora there going by. I always like the different planes of existence when it comes to fantasy worlds. I think it's I think it's fascinating. If, if done correctly, of course. You know what this reminds me of as well? I know I keep bringing up World of Warcraft, but this is just the fucking Shadowlands opening, isn't it? You just put the Ice Crown Citadel right here. Oh yeah, my bad. You're right, Serana. Serana's speaking for the entire comment section right now. She's like, alright, keep it going, nerd. Or I shove you in a locker. I must return to the frontline Alessian headquarters at once. 
Lives are hanging in the balance. Oh, buddy. Bone man. Oh no, it's a recolored skeleton. <laughs> Wait a minute, is it? Isn't Bone Man just another way of saying skeleton, if you think about it? <laughs> I'm a Bone Man! <laughs> I'm not a skeleton, but a Bone Man! What is this? Oh, nothing. Just like a weird beacon of light, I guess. You come from? Oh, this is a chest. You come from? Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, God, you're a little bit strong, aren't you? There we go. Not strong enough, though. Geob's Opus. Oh, that's this. The, I remember this. So this is the the guy. In case you guys don't know, in Morrowind, there was a character that starts with you on the boat, and his name is Geob. I think that's how you say it. And he ends up, you know, waking you up, and you go off on your journey. But it turns out that he ends up slaying all the cliff racers in Morrowind, which are very, very annoying creatures. And I guess maybe Bethesda kind of wanted to, uh, I don't know, gives the players a sense of redemption, I guess, for being so annoyed by these disgusting creatures they built. So, yeah, he, he is the one that ended up slaying them all. Uh, quickly stifled by the sound of over a hundred wings, rising from the fo Foyota. Foyota was an entire colony of cliff, ra cliff racers, and they were out for blood. The blasted things had led me right into their nest and sacrificed itself with the intent of feeding to me its brood. It was a trap. The damn thing had become too clever. Much too clever. Knowing this was likely the end, I jumped down from the silt strider and hit the back of its leg with the... And we'll never know. I mean, we're going to try to go find more of them, but... I don't know. One of those people over there was pretty chill about all this from the sound of her. She was like, huh. So this is it. Not the best vacation I've ever had. Oh, this is where I am, huh? Let's open up a local map. I kind of want to go and explore the Soul Cairn a little bit. I hope you guys don't mind and I kind of just wander around and look at things. I feel like I've never really truly done that before. I figured, what better time than now, you know? I like the ambience here. Oh, another bone man, quite possibly. Not a skeleton, but a bone man. Oh, yeah, it's definitely bone man material I'm hearing. Wait, how do I get up there? Is there a way up? Surely there is. Oh wait, what is this? Ooh. Plenty of soul gems down in here, which I uh, am very happy about. Now, if only I had the soul trap spell. I would be in a very good place. Alright, well, there's definitely something up there. I just don't know how to get up there. Maybe I gotta, like, look around or something. I don't want to waste too much time kind of messing around with stuff. Just in case, you know. Okay. I guess this is the... Yes, this is the boundary. So, we have hit the wall. Oh, wait. I don't really see a way up there, though. Huh. Alright, this guy's just still taking paw shots at me. Leave me be. Alright. Consider it done. Is there anything over here? I guess I should probably just focus on the towers in the distance more than anything. And just kind of keep running towards those. Yeah. Kind of makes me feel like I'm playing Fallout right now. Like the fact that there's just this big kind of nuclear landscape going on. Is 
Piranha? Oh, okay. There we are. Thought I lost you there for a minute. I don't know why. I'm paranoid. I lost one beloved. I can't lose another. Or my heart will be torn asunder. That was a bit of a nice rhyme there. Soul harvested. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I did there, but... Apparently I harvested a soul. Guess I'll just keep doing this. I'll see why I wouldn't. Maybe it like fills my soul gem. Yeah, we don't take scrolls anymore after I realize how useless they are. Where'd you come from? Oh no, another series of Bone Man. <laughs> oh my god, Serana. At least give them a chance. A man's been waiting here for god knows how long to come up and attack someone. So bad just taking it away from him. Ow. I'm dying. Trekking what is called a lingerer, a cliff bracer without a nest. He was a particularly feisty one too, leading me on a merry chase across almost three miles of ash dunes. I had managed to take a piece of, out of one of his wings in an earlier scuffle, so he couldn't maintain much of a climb, but he still hasn't but he still has quite a bit of stamina left, and he was trying to make me tire of the chase. Almost two solid hours passed and my silt. Uh, I might die here in a minute. Serana, are you okay? I'm just gonna jump down here. Okay, I'm just gonna drop some of these scrolls. I don't give a shit. There we go. That's for someone else. I don't know why, but these things make me feel like they're jump pads. Does that make sense to anyone? Maybe it's the old, like, PS2 fan in me. But I see giant glowing platforms, I think. Oh, that's a jump pad. If I hit that, I'll be launched up in the air. Oop, I forgot I could yell. That is, in fact, the whole point of being a Dragonborn. I have not used the yell in such a long time. I forgot that existed. Typical me. Another soul harvested. Put the Grim Reaper to shame. It's over here. Anything? Have I already been over here? No, I haven't actually. Oh, hey, what's up, man? A soul gem. That's what it was. Oh, no. Don't think about it. I am a hunter. I am a redeemer. I am Geob. The tale of my rise to glory begins in the ash waste of Morrowind. I rode alone, a weapon at my side, and the burning wind stinging my face. My quest was arduous, and necessary, but necessary to ensure the survival of the Dunmer people. A pestilence was creeping across the ashlands. As long as you don't realize that you're trapped in an eternal hell, I think you'll be okay. I feel like it's the moment you realize that, oh shit, I'm trapped in eternal hell. Oh, why is, why is the... What the hell? Why was it lagging so bad? Has it been doing that non-stop? Is it the soul fisher? Huh. Well, guys, I just want to go ahead and apologize. Sorry for the lag. I haven't even noticed it. I've been too busy in my own little world. Sometimes uh, Skyrim can be a bit weird with OBS, which is weird because I I've mentioned it before. I don't lag. Like, my game doesn't lag itself, but OBS does. OBS does not like Skyrim every now and then, so uh, hopefully you guys will look past it for me. 
right there. I, I think it's this. No, it's not that. I don't know what I don't know what's causing the, uh, the sudden lag spikes. It's like a certain area, like a direction I look that causes the game to uh, freak the fuck out. That's unfortunate. I was hoping the Soul Cairn wouldn't have too much lag in it because there isn't really any water or anything, but alas. What's a boy to do? Probably get a better computer, but I need a lot more money in order to do that. All in due time, my friends. All in due time. See, those of you that stick around will be able to say in the future, when I have even more subscribers, I was there during the laggy Skyrim episodes, Bo. That's how dedicated I am. And I'll be like, holy shit. That's, that's pretty fucking wild. And then we'll laugh and we'll laugh. But not right now. No one's laughing. At least I hope you're not. Well, I mean, I hope you are at the jokes, but not at, you know. You get the point. Oh no, this guy looks like he has a tummy ache. Stay away from the Oblivion Gate, I told them. Did they listen? Of course not. Please. End this misery. Get out while you can. This is no place for you. Now you don't know that. Ooh, I like the look of this thing, though. Let's go activate that and see what happens. Hi. How could they trick me like this? I was one of Raven's court wizards. Ow. Bastard. <laughs> Take that, idiot. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll teach him. See that, Serana? Oh, there you are. I was almost about to be really sad. Alright, I'm gonna run up and look. Treasure. Greater Soul Gem? I will take. No, not that. Greater Soul Gem, please. Ooh! Okay, we're good. So Raymond, huh? Raymond, whatever. That's from... Is that from Daggerfall? I feel like that is. Who are you? At least the pain is gone. Alright, buddy. Get out while you can. That's what everyone keeps telling me, man. But I got a hot vampire GF. And I ain't scared of nothing. It's like dating a big goth girl that wears combat boots and then, like, towers over you, like, <laughs> by an extra four or five feet, you know? Like, you don't have to be worried about anything anymore. Anyone bullies you, you can just look up at her. Like that Tyler1 meme. Let her handle it. Like a real man would. Jump pad? Oh my god, what the fuck? That actually scared the fuck out of me. I did not expect that to work. Um, okay. Wrath man? Alright, well. I was kind of expecting that to be a little bit more... I don't know. Intense. Holy shit, though. That, that was a loud noise. Alright, I'm trying to keep an eye on the... The recording for you guys now and trying to avoid looking at spots that I feel like give me big lag spikes uh, but it's kind of hard because I gotta also focus on the game itself so uh yeah we'll probably just be lagging a little bit here it's kind of a given you know but I will try to negate it as much as possible All right, I'm just gonna keep hopping in these things since they apparently teleport me Oh, not this one, though. Yeah, there's apparently a good chunk I haven't explored over here, if I'm looking at the map correctly. Just like an area I haven't walked in yet. I 
Hello? Oh, yeah, this is the... Okay. Right, I get it. Can I crawl in through a window or something? Oh, hey, Serana. There you are. I was wondering where you went. I don't really think I care too much about the, the treasure in there. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be another soul gem. So we're just going to continue onwards. We're going to follow the path. See if this teleports me anywhere. How about you? Nope. Alright, well. Oh my god, Serana. <laughs> this scared me. I'm so jumpy for some reason. You know what? I do like the purple aesthetic. I'll say that much. I think purple is a very good color for an afterlife. I think people sleep on it, but... I am a fan. A very big fan. Yep. Greeting soul. How are you? Why can't I just die? I fear I'm cursed to walk this desolate Excuse me? forever. Excuse me? Putting in my headphones real quick, but uh there was a there's a whole ass horse that just went by. I'm gonna ch I'm gonna chase him down. Come here. Why is this your like home? Well, look what we have here. Someone with flesh on their bones. What's the matter with you? Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. How in the name of Zenithar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double cross a necromancer? It's okay, Serana, take your time. Just <laughs> she has to sit down and think about things. She's, uh, this place is really taking it out of her. So that's how you got here. You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plopped here without so much as a word. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. How oh, people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Got anything in left? Very funny. And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. There must be something you want. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those ugly fungus-looking things growing out of the ground. Bring me, say, 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Fair enough. What do you have? Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Serana's gonna go check it out. Used to gather before all of this nonsense happened to me. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. If you have the husks. All right. Well, I don't have twenty-five husk. No husks, no sale. Guess you have some scavenging to do. Always do. Yes, Serana, we're in a different plane of existence. I mean, I, I don't know what you're expecting. But you literally had to trap my soul to get me here. What do you think it's going to be? Rainbows and, like, sunshine? This is the Elder Scrolls Afterlife, alright? Nothing really paints a very good picture. Imagine what the fuck is Oh that's like energy. I thought that was like some kind of bloodborne like monster lurking in the sky. I get rather concerned there. So I guess these are the fungal pods that I need to be collecting. There we are. Ugh, hate the noise they make. Hello? Bone man? Oh, rat man. 
The worst Mega Man boss. Ooh, that's a bit of lag every now and then. Alright, we're good. I say as I immediately move and the lag starts again. I'm managing to get rid of the EMB shader, but I really don't want to play this game without it looking good. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck is this thing? Hey! I'm just gonna say real quick. I have a feeling that I'm about to get my ass kicked. We're in bone armor. Oh, you know what? I, I was... Well, I was correct about getting my ass kicked, at the very least. That I was not wrong about. Now focus on Serana, please. Oh my god, we're staggering him so much. I think I'm safe in here. Is this cheating? Oh my god, look at the lag. On OBS. They did not like this. They do not like me cheating. Guys, I noticed that a lot of you guys have said that the reason you like my content is because it reminds you of uh, like the early 2000s, like 2016s kind of like YouTube uh, videos. Just imagine it's from that era, and that's the reason the stuff is lagging. Alright. I'm giving you the full, authentic experience. Only the best for you guys. What were you keeping over here, gatekeeper? Nothing? What? I feel terrible for the dead who end up here for eternity. Seems awful. Like they're still suffering. I mean, some of them are, but... Most of them just seem pretty chill. Alright, well. Don't know what that guy was gatekeeping, but that's alright. I do notice that we're past the hour mark, so I'm going to go ahead and end this laggy episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys will continue to stick around, despite the video being a little bit laggy every now and then. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps me out and it boosts me up through that algorithm, which helps me out tremendously. In the description below, there's a link to both my Twitter and my Twitch, which you should both go and follow because that also really, really helps me out and promotes me up there a little bit more. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And until we see each other again, take care. God damn it, Serana.